Hey everybody, it's Pete Blank for this week's edition of Pete's Points, and I am not located in Paris, France. Instead, I'm here at the Paris Hotel at the beautiful area of Las Vegas, here on the Las Vegas Strip, where I'm spending some time with my wife, Sherry Blank, as we're heading off to a convention. I want to talk to you today a leadership tip that has to do with the whole concept of what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Now, I want to talk to you about this from a leadership perspective. Number one, here's what I mean by this. When you are a supervisor or a manager and you have direct reports, there's certain things that you have to keep confidential and there's certain things that really can't be kept confidential. So let me walk you through these two scenarios if you don't mind. Number one, when you have an employee that comes to you and says, hey, I've got an issue I want to talk with you about, but you have to promise me that you're not going to tell anybody. You have to promise me you're going to keep it secret. As a leader, it's your job at that point to say, I can't do that. I cannot promise you that. Because, again, if it's a harassment issue, if it's a hostile work environment, if it's a discrimination issue, those have to be reported. So what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas does not hold true for that scenario. But when you're building trust with your employees, when you're building a relationship and you're doing things like discipline, coaching, uh, talk to them about their families, those are things that do need to be kept confidential because those will be, you know, part of your relationship that you build with the employees. So again, when it comes down to what happens in Vegas, stays in Vegas, same thing happens as a leader, but look at both sides of the coin and make sure you share those things that have to be shared and keep those things confidential that have to be kept confidential. That's your leadership lesson for today from beautiful Las Vegas. See you next time on Peach Points.